Hello, my name is Brendan Nitchapork, and I'll be presenting optimizing operating points for high performance lesion detection and segmentation using lesion size reweighing. In many medical problems, segmentation of lesions of all sizes is important to diagnose in stage disease or to determine treatment efficacy. This is particularly evident in the case of cancer and multiple sclerosis, where lesions can span from just a few voxels to thousands of voxels in size. When dealing with segmentation problems that involve a range of lesion sizes, standard loss functions typically better segment large lesions at the expense of missing small ones. It is possible to adjust the operating point to increase small lesion detection performance, but this comes at the cost of over-segmenting large lesions. Here we have a case study which involves segmenting T2 lesions in the context of multiple sclerosis. To do this, we train a unit using the binary cross-entropy loss function. If I can draw your attention to the figure on the right, on the y-axis, we have the true positive rate, or TPR. On the x-axis, we have the false detection rate, or FDR. The blue curve corresponds to voxel level segmentation performance. The purple curve corresponds to lesion level detection performance. The remaining curves correspond to lesion level detection performance stratified by lesion size. For example, the orange curve corresponds to lesion level detection performance for small lesions, which are 3 to 10 voxels in size. The red dot corresponds to the optimal segmentation operating point, which would be the threshold corresponding to the highest segmentation F1 score, or DICE. The blue dot corresponds to the optimal detection operating point, which would be the threshold corresponding to the highest detection F1 score. It's important to note that curves alone are not sufficient to understand the performance characteristics of a model. In particular, we can see that the optimal segmentation operating point, the red dot, underperforms on the lesion level detection curves, particularly in the case of small lesions. This raises an important question. How can we achieve optimal detection and segmentation performance at the same time? Related work on this topic includes focal loss, which addresses the class imbalance, but doesn't address imbalances in lesion size. A more recent paper, Inverse Lesion Weighing, addresses lesion size imbalances by assigning a higher weight to voxels uh, of small lesions. However, assigning too much weight to small lesions, which are typically more uncertain, can negatively affect performance. Our contribution is lesion size reweighing, which allows us to close the performance gap that exists between the operating point corresponding to optimal voxel level segmentation performance and the operating point corresponding to optimal lesion level detection performance. Our goal is to simultaneously achieve optimal detection and segmentation performance at a single operating point. We can do this by weighing lesions as a function of their size. In particular, we assign additional weight to small lesions relative to binary cross entropy. We can see this on the figure on the right, where we plot aggregate lesion weight on the y-axis and lesion size in voxels on the x-axis. We can see that binary cross entropy plus the proposed lesion size reweighing, the orange curve, assigns additional weight to small lesions compared to the standard binary cross-entropy, the blue curve. Note that the aggregate lesion weight converges to binary cross-entropy as lesion size increases, so that large lesions are not given additional weight. Note that this is suitable for smaller lesions and avoids the excessive weight assigned to small lesions by previous methods. We conduct our experiments on a large data set of multiple, scler of multiple sclerosis patient images. We use a unit to to segment T2 lesions and baseline our method against binary cross entropy, weighted binary cross entropy, focal loss, and binary cross entropy with inverse lesion weighing. Here we show true positive rate versus false detection rate curves for binary cross entropy with the proposed lesion, lesion size reweighing, baselined against binary cross entropy and weighted binary cross entropy. In the case of the proposed method, we can see that the optimal operating points for segmentation and, de and detection overlap, and the method achieves optimal segmentation and detection performance at the same time at a single operating point. This is in contrast to binary cross, binary cross entropy and weighted binary cross entropy, for which the optimal operating points are comparatively far apart, and which shows suboptimal detection performance at the optimal segmentation operating point. Here we compare the, the proposed method, lesion size reweighing, with focal loss and binary cross entropy with inverse lesion weighing. In the case of focal loss, we can see that the performance gap between the optimal segmentation and the optimal detection operating points remains. 
In the case of binary cross entropy with inverse weighting, with inverse lesion weighting, the distance between the optimal detection and segmentation operating points is even larger. And the method significantly underperforms all others. It should be noted that our, experiment, our experiments with this method deal with much, uh, a much greater number of lesions that, sm that span a much greater range of sizes than the experiments conducted as part of the original inverse lesion weighing paper. Indeed, further analysis showed that binary cross entry with inverse lesion weighing applied substantial weight to small lesions, with voxel weights spanning several orders of magnitude. This isn't a problem for binary cross en entropy with the proposed lesion size reweighing, with the weights remaining within a reasonable range. Thank you, and please join us for our discussion and our poster session.